All right, Pokemon players, what is up? I'm Trainer Connor, and it's time for week two of the ICL. This week, we're facing off against Slow Formula, the coach of the ICL's Chicago Earth Rings. Now, going into this battle, I noticed he had things like Crobat and Entei, and to a lesser extent, Mega Lachios. I knew that this wasn't going to be an easy matchup because, you know, offensive pressure by my opponent. But you know what? I prepped for him so that I can hopefully win against him. Uh, I have a great feeling about this battle. Um, we can win if I predict pretty well here, uh, but you know, I actually do make a few mistakes, which I will point out during the match, uh, but there was a chance I could win, and uh, whether I win or lose this battle, I definitely learned something from battling slow formulas, so. Uh, be be before we begin the match, I am bringing Clefable as a Wish supporter. A uh, type set where it has Wish, Calm Mind, Flamethrower, and Moonblast. Uh, Mega Manetric again. Going Mega and using it to make to affect Crobat and Gale Blade and maybe Electivire if it's a, phys a physical set. And then we we're bringing Shaman for the first time in the ICL. Uh, Shaman is there just to hit Seismitoad. Uh, yeah, if he brought it. And he does bring Seismitoad, so. I will use Shaman for that, and then Talonflame, because, because Talonflame, it's Talonflame, nothing else to say. Uh, and then we're also using Duskinor to hopefully burn a few things. I can burn Crobat, I can burn Lachios, not really for physical attacking purposes, but just to get a little bit of chip damage, because Mega Lachios is quite bulky. And then Swampert in the back here just to get some entrances. We're actually going to begin using Swampert against its Seismic Code, which is like, God, I really should have started out with Shaman. But granted, he could just switch out and go into Lachios or Entei or Crobat. He's got a lot of Pokemon that would resist the grass type moves. So, I am going to start out with Swampert. Like I said, we're going to get up our Entrances first off. And then he gets up his Stealth Ross, which is unfortunate. I really need a Rapid Spinner. He poisons me, and uh, that's not really good because, you know, Pokemon that are really bulky, they don't appreciate being poisoned or burned or whatnot. So, um, I ended up going for Waterfall, just trying to put some damage on something. He does, he does go with U-Turn, goes into Lachios, and, um, Lachios actually takes a good chunk from the Waterfall, even though it's resisted. Uh, so after that, I'm going to, uh, stay in and roar, because I figured he might end up setting up on me with Calm Mind, but he went for recover, so I'm really happy I didn't switch out or anything like that. But the poison is going to be a problem, so we're going to switch out and go into Talonflame because of the typing mashup. He goes for Iron Head, and, you know, just from the entry houses uh, going in and kicking that Iron Head, I'm almost dead with Talonflame. So, this might be a little bit of a disadvantage for myself there, but we have Roost, and I'm going to go for, go with Roost. And uh, he went for Shadow Seek. That's not going to work, even though it's, um, you know, a priority move. Um, Gale Wings off, uh, offers my Califlame uh, some, you know, nice priority there to outspeed my opponent's priority. Uh, but here I go with Bulk Up, if you saw that. Uh, I went for bulk up because I was like, okay, I can definitely take another Shadow Sneak. I can definitely take an Iron Head. But then he pulls off Rock Slide. I'm like, what the heck? Because I didn't see that one coming. And that was actually the turning point of the match because without Talonflame, um, I guess uh, this match would, you know, be a lot more different if I had Talonflame alive. But no, he's dead. And I'm like, really? Because... I don't know that Gale Blade can learn Rock Slide. So that happened. I'm going to go with Shadow Punch, and this is where the Gale Blade 
is EV-related, or it has the EV-related item, and, um, it's really bulk, it's really bulky, ugh, I can't talk today, okay, uh, but I go with a couple of shadow type moves to hit the Gal Blade, we always take him out, but I lose Duskinor, which would have been useful to hit my opponent Swakios and, uh, all that, but we lose that Pokemon there. And I went for, I think I called mine, and then a Moonblast. Uh, no, I mean Wish. Sorry. Uh, can't talk! Uh, oh well. But we're gonna move on. We learn from our narrations. Uh, but, he went for Defog, which wouldn't work because I protected just to see what he's gonna do with his Crobat. And, uh, here I Wish again, just to pass it to my, my next trick here. And, uh, we take that Brave Bird pretty well, and we paralyze Acrobat, his Crobat, and we get our wish. So I was like, okay, great, we have some momentum here. Um, I expected him to switch out into his Electrifier because the electric type move is painfully obvious. I have, for this battle, Hidden Power Ice, which, that, um would be very useful to hit Lockheos and Crobat and all that, but it's actually going to come to bite me. If I had Hidden Power Grass, Seismico wouldn't be a problem because Seismico is actually going to be an issue throughout the match. So if you saw right there, Electrifier got a critical hit Earthquake, which in my opinion, it did not matter because I'm slower uh, so, and combine that with poison damage, that critical hit earthquake just did not matter overall, but. Now we can go into Shaman, and just go with the Psychic, I barely, barely take out Electivire. I really should have gone for a Sea Flare, uh, but I was actually expecting NK to come in, but he decides to bring in NK, and he, uh, loses his Electivire. So, um, here I'm expecting the extreme speed coming from MK, and now he's just switch out and going to Seismic Code, and so I wanted to paralyze something, uh, and I was like, here I really wish I had Hidden Power Grass, because it would be a lot more beneficial here, but, um, no, we just go into Clefable instead, and, uh, we get poisoned, he goes for Scald, this Clefable, I actually put a little bit of special defense EVs on that, uh, just to take special hits a lot better, obviously, but of course the, the caustic is going to come into huge play, because every turn I take a lot of poison damage. So you see just how annoying this seismic code is, yeah, um, I could have gone into my uh, Shaman on all those turns I had the chance to do it, but I, I didn't. Wow, that is such a great sentence. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit tired today when recording this. Just wanted to get this battle uploaded and whatnot. I'm doing the best I can, uh, so bear with me guys. So we do land off a Psychic on that Crobat coming in. He went for Defog, which sucks because the poison, or pfft, the, 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 the Skull Frost, um, are gonna, uh, get removed. But, of course, you know, my opponent has the opportunity to get those back up, which he does, which is unfortunate. So here's Sacred Fire. I could have with that, but, you know, if I had more health and all, but we didn't, so we lose Clefable. And so I'm down only two Pokemon at this point, and, uh, Hidden Power Ice, because I am forced to do that with Sasmico being around and all that. And there's the Stealth Rock, so my chances of winning this battle, uh, are not that, they're not gonna, it's not going to come, uh, to my expectations here. So, um, we're gonna try our best here. Uh, but it's not going to work out. Okay, so uh, my last Pokemon is Shaman, who's going to go down to the Stealth Ross. So I guess I played a little bit weird in that battle, but you know, it turned out to be a great match. Uh, I lose 3-0 to Slow Formula. I definitely learned 
how to prepare for future matches where it's like, okay, I should probably bring this to the match. I should, you know, do this so that way I could have the momentum and all that. Um, so I guess I could have won there, but I, I made some plays that kind of affected the match overall. So we lose, but it's okay. I learned a lot from it. And my week three opponent is actually against the Rude Leaf Storm. And that is going to be an epic, uh, an epic fight. So, um, look forward to that. I should have another battle go up later this week if I have the chance to do it. But in the meantime, just have a great week. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys when I have the chance to upload. And look forward to week three. All right. Have a great week, guys. Bye.